today I'll do my Nintendo Switch updated game collection. Um, these are all of the games that I've got in the cases. I've basically got them beside me. And I've got, again, my piece of paper to say which ones are in the cases. And then I've got in my notepad, which is the ones that I got from the eShop. So, let's begin. So, the first one I got, which was actually from my brother for Christmas, was the Super Mario, uh, the Mario Party Superstars. Um, no, I absolutely love this game, only because... Um, it's quite good to play with friends, there's the inside. It's quite nice to play with friends anyway, but the fact that you can play online, you can do online play where you play against other people, as long as you've got the Nintendo Switch online, that's pretty good, because that is very, very good. I, I really like the concept of that. Um, so yeah, so next we've got, which I must admit is my absolute favourite Pokemon game on the Switch by far, is the Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, that's what the back looks like. Um, oh, hang on. Sorry. Um, this is what the middle looks like. And I love the concept of this game because basically it hit, like, you have five different areas, um, you can still battle Pokemon, but you have to, like, you actually walk around, so you make your own, well, you choose between, I think, a boy and a girl, like you normally do, you're part of this, like, galaxy team, and you do, and you actually go around and, um, like, walk around, Sneak up on Pokemon, catch them. You actually like throw the Pokeballs, like you actually get to aim the Pokeballs at them and throw them. Um, and it's just really, really a good concept for a Pokemon game. Um, it basically is a it's so on the back. It's basically a action meets RPG, and then you can have like different. Um, you can have different uh things so like i'm trying to think how to explain it so there's four different pokemon that help you so you've got this one here where you can ride it around um there's one where it will like search for treasures um there is one that will help you climb really high rocks or mountains there's one that you can there's one that will so when you're in the water, so you don't drown, you will be able to ride this Pokemon in the water. And then there is one that will let you fly around, basically fly in the air to um, wherever you want to go. You get them as you progress through the story, um, which is really cool. I've really been enjoying it at the moment. I did uh, complete it on like my own personal saves i have actually completed the entire game i'm just trying to do the pokedex now um so yeah so it comes with this leaflet as well um which there is a game in here but i'll get i'll get to that in a minute um so it basically just tells you what to do um so uh the main thing is if you have um if you have a save game of Pokemon Sword or Shield, which I did. Um, when you get to the end of the game and you get all the credits, in the Jubilee Village, in the Galaxy Hall um, thing, there'll be a couple of requests. Um, there'll be a request for this one, which you could get this Pokemon here. And a request to get this Pokemon here if you have either Brilliant Diamond or Shiny Pearl save data. Um, which is great. Um, just for a heads up so that people know how to do it. Because I struggled with it last time and then I failed to get this Pokemon straight away. So I had to like restart the whole thing. It was really like, not the whole story but just restart, like come out come out of the area and go back into it because I just didn't know what I was doing. 
So with uh, this Pokemon, you have to battle it, and instead of defeating it in a battle, you battle it, get its health down quite a bit, and then you catch it with your Pokeballs, Great Balls, whatever. Um, so that's how you do that one, and that's in the day. And then this one, what you have to do is go to night, and then you go to, I forgot, it's like this hill place, um, and you basically have to, so it will appear, and then you have to quickly catch it before it disappears. It took me a while to do it, but you basically just have to catch it when it appears, like, try and catch it when it appears at that moment before it disappears. Um... Yeah. Oh no, no, sorry. You don't use. You don't catch straight away. Um, you have to battle it, but you have to throw your poke ball, your poke one in, as like soon as soon as it appears, so you can battle it. Then you catch it in the battle. So yeah, and I will be doing a playthrough on this anyway because it's such a cool game. And I want to do a playthrough. Um, so the next one I've got, which uh, I've got pre-owed, because I've always wanted, there has been, it's been a, quite a long time, and I've really wanted to try this game, um, but I never got around to doing it, my cousin has it, and when I saw him play it, I thought it was actually really good. So, um, I've got the Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, um, I'm really enjoying this at the moment, and... I know that this year there is going to be a Mario Rabbits Sparks of Hope, which is the new one that's coming out. So I'll probably get that, might get that one as well. But um, yeah, really enjoying this. Um, so moving on when I talked about Arceus, how I said if you have a save from Pokemon Shield or Sword and Pokemon Shiny Pearl and Brilliant Diamond, um, I've got the Pokemon Shining Pearl, um, the only reason why I haven't got Diamond, which is the same as the Sword and Shield, is purely because, um, there's no point we getting to, um, so my brother's got Brilliant Diamond, so if I need to ever play it, I'll borrow his, um, but yeah, so, so this is, um, this is what you get. Um, so yeah. So this is what you get. This is how it looks. Um, so yeah, it looks great. Um, again, they've done the same thing. Is they've done the same thing in this one. If you have. Um, Shield and Sword data, you can say data, you can get this one from these people down here. And if you have Pokemon uh, Let's Go Eevee or Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, you can get this one. So I do like how they, oh yeah, that's middle of the case. That's the front of the back. I like how they do that in the most recent games. If you have saved data from the game before, then you could get um, like something extra. So I think that is really cool. Um, so the next one I've got is Just Dance 2022. Um, I love Just Dance. I have got, uh, or I used to have, um, well technically I did have all of the Just Dances. Um, most of them were on the Wii. Uh, but obviously because I started getting them on the Switch, I didn't need my Wii versions. So I took them into work and I gave them to my work um, but yes yeah, so this is what the front of the back looks like so yep um, and I'm, I am loving this one at the moment but only because it's got such good songs on it and also with the Just Dance Unlimited because I pay I think I get normally the three months for Just Dance Limited because I use it quite a lot. Um, <clears throat> uh, Just Dance Limited has loads of good songs from all the other ones. Uh, my favourite song at the moment 
well I've got two actually is the Judas by Lady Gaga and the Last Friday Night by Katy Perry um I say I much my I much more like the Kate Perry one, um, only because it includes all of the other Kate Perry coaches with the Kate Perry songs that really won. All of the uh, Kate Perry coaches are included in that song, um, which I think is absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, right. So next we've got is Sonic Colors Ultimate. Um. I mean, sorry guys. Uh, I remember playing. That's what the front and back looks like. I think I remember playing Sonic Colors. I think it was on the 3DS. I played it. Um, so I thought I'd give this one a go because I did actually quite enjoy the Sonic Colors on the 3DS. And uh, yeah. So next one I've got is the WarioWare Get it Together, um, which is basically that's the front of the back. And you basically just, it includes over 200 mini games, and you basically, um, you know, you basically go through a story, um, that's what it looks like, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, so the next one is this one, which is the Leo, Leo, The World Ends With You, um, I started watching the anime, because this is based off the anime. Um, I started watching the anime. I still need to get through. Um, I need to actually go through and get. Um, what do you call it? I need to get. Um, I need to get to the end of it. But. I like this because it's like loads of, it's basically like puzzles that you have to solve and it's all about the Reaper games and yeah, so that, that's good, I like that one. Um, so the next one I've got, which I thought I'd give a, I'd give a try because I love, I like um, loads of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which I have got and I did buy the DLC for. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd give this one a go. Um, and plus, I'll see somebody play it, it look really cool. So, this is the uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword or Skyward Sword HD. Uh, I watched somebody play Skyward Sword that was on the 3DS, um, and it looked really cool, so I thought I'd give it a go. So, and I have really enjoyed it ever since. So, that's the front and the back. Um, and if you pre-ordered it, you got um, a couple of extra bits. They also did a pre-order only for like these Joy-Cons. Um, I did want to get the Joy-Cons, but because I didn't pre-order it, like I didn't pre-order the Joy-Cons because I might not have been able to go get them. So I didn't get the Joy-Cons in the end. They were only like pre-order only. Um, so, but the other things that they did with it, they did a case and a key ring, and that's what you got for pre-ordering the game. Um, I didn't pre-order the game, but when I went to get the game, they said they had a few left. Well, they said they had loads left, so they gave me, they did give me this, and the key rings, they had a, like quite, quite a few left. Um, so this is the case. This is the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword case, which I think looks absolutely stunning. I think this is such a great case. Um, I mean, I haven't used it. The only reason I haven't used this case is because all my games live in where I put my Switch. And an extra like gaming case to put all them in. Um, I would put this on the wall, but I, I don't think I'll be able to. So even though I haven't used it, um, and I probably should keep it. I still keep it anyway. I just keep it in with my switch cases because I couldn't bring myself to. Um, I literally couldn't bring myself to get rid of it. 
because it's such a cool case like i love it such a good case so that normally just stays with that one um and the other thing they that was a pre-order that they gave me was a key ring um which looks like this this is the um this is the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword um, logo. So this is what it looks like. And it's basically just a key ring, um, which is really cool. I actually keep it on my bag. Um, so yeah, but I just took it off to show you guys. But that is normally on my bag. So Right, so next one I've got is this Mario Golf... Um, super rush um i got this because i like the sound of it because i like mario games and i like golf games so i thought this might be quite cool because it's literally a mario golf game like it looks so cool so um so i thought i'd get this i am like it at the moment um i mean obviously i wouldn't be able to do it up here like in my room but if i was downstairs i would i would probably use motion controls um and i like some, that some of these games have that where they have motion controls um where you basically to like for this if you use the motion controls you would get your joy card and you'd actually be swinging it like you would if you just play golf um so yeah so that's cool so the next one i've got is metopia um which is like a big story that you go through um which looks really cool um i have played it um and this did this did come out of the 3ds and i wanted to try it but i never brought it on my 3ds and then when i saw it came out on the switch i was like right i need to try this because this is probably really good um so i tried it and i do actually enjoy it so the next one I've got, which I would say actually is my second favourite Pokemon game, um, is the new Pokemon Slap. But obviously they had the Pokemon Slap on the 3DS, but this is the new Pokemon Slap. So it's basically like the Pokemon Slap, but it's for the Nintendo Switch, like better graphics and all that. Um, I love this because you can, you basically take pictures of Pokemon, um, you can give them, you can throw them food to get their attention. You can lay, like throw orbs at them, and they'll light up and do different behaviors. Um, and basically, you get like photos, rank, and you get ranks like so. You get one star, two star, three star, four star. And then a good thing about this is if I like on the back here. So say if you've got a photo, you can edit it. So like you can edit it on here. And then if you, then you can post it and then people can like it and that. Which I think is a really cool aspect. Uh, where you, somebody can look at it, they can like it and all of that. So um, I do think it's a really cool aspect. And the last one I've got is the Ring Fit Adventure. Um, which looks like this. Um, I brought it because, um, I mean that's I don't read it. Uh, I brought it because I felt like I needed something that would give me exercise because I don't really do much exercise because I sit at home most of the time. So I thought I needed some like a game that was fun to play but was exercise at the same time. So um, this one looked to make, like really good. I heard about this one from a person who I work with who said that they had it and they thought it was really good. Um, so I brought it and then obviously if, when you buy the game, so basically when you buy the game it comes with this <laughs> gigantic box. Um, so basically when you first buy it, it'll come with this gigantic box. Um, so you open up the box of you open up the box as such. The game is the game. I think was inside the box when I got it. Um, so yeah, you get this. 
So this is um, what, so you use this and I'll show you the other thing. But basically this is where, so your controller goes up here, slides in, and this is what you use. So you hold it like this while you do whatever. Um, so this is what you hold to, so it can see that you're using your arms. Um, and then for your legs, um, you have to put this on. So it's got Velcro, you basically undo it, wrap it around your leg, and then you tighten it up. And then you put your joy card in here, and that basically monitors, like, basically monitors so it knows that you're running or whatever. So I think that's a really cool way to get, like, exercise in, because it's a fun way to exercise. Um, but yeah, so, so this obviously lives separately at there because I can't, I can't fit it anywhere else. I have kept the box. Just because I've got nowhere else to put the like ring thing and that, so that just stays up there. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. That's pretty much it in the ones that I've got on cases. Um, there are a few that I've got that are on cases, which I'll actually say now because uh, they always there's no point making a video. Um, so the one that I've got that are on the cases that were off the shop is the Pokemon Unite, uh, the Great Ace Attorney, um, YouTuber's Life, uh, well, YouTuber's Life 2, and that's it. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry, I'm trying to get this box back in. Um, yeah, so, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like um, if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you want to see more and let me know in the comments what else you want to see and i'll speak to you guys later bye <laughs>